Hello, I wanted to show you my April Dory before I put it away. Just to flip through. I ended up not using this page. I did a lot of stamping and here I used um, stays on ink, which um, is not wise because it's really wet and it soaks through. So I had to sort of do some uh, rep, some band-aid work on the back, like here. This sort of showing through, you can see. I want to show you some of my Band-Aid work. This is my favorite page. Uh, if you want me to sh tell you how I set up this page, I, I can. Um, but I I think I did it in my previous video talking about um, how to measure and make it look like this. It's a really helpful page. I do the lines in ink and then I do my planning in pencil. Here's one of the pages I had to fix. This ink really soaked through. So I used a grouping of washi die cuts and stickers to sort of, you know, kind of cover it, but it still looks okay. I think this must have been another one. Yeah, see, that um, stays on. Stays on ink is really, it's permanent. It's kind of like the Sharpie pen of ink, uh, stamp ink and it just really soaks through. I really like it and it smells good. <laughs> so um, we went on vacation on the 25th, so I didn't have stuff to stick in. And I, um, so a lot of these things that are in here now are things that I've added now that I'm home again. So it was a one week vacation. And um, just a reminder, this, like this dinner that we had, it wasn't on this day. 29th of Friday. Actually, I don't even remember if it was, but it, it doesn't matter. You, It's not like you're doing, like, it's not like you're taking this to court, like, we had this on this day, yes, Your Honor. You know, if you have an empty space and you have a photo and it's about the right time, you have my permission to go ahead and put it in anywhere you want. So um, I just want you to know that. And um, I think I'm going to start doing Life 360. I mean, not Life 360, that's the name of an app. Project Life. Um, I'm going to start again with 2022. And I use my Dories to help me remember what happened on which day. So on vacation, yes, it is important. It's a little more important which restaurants you went to and stuff. So I did keep a little extra piece of paper that said... This is the day we went to this museum and ate lunch at this place and dinner at this place. So um, I do have a little slip of paper, like a cheat sheet, but it's not like journal stuff. It's more like I want to remember my vacation and make sure the photos are in order if I if I put them in a, you know, a Project Life page. So that's it. It's not that big of a deal. And like I said, it's not like you're being taken to court. Like, did you really have that margarita on Friday or did you have it on Thursday? No. So that's that. And I'm now I'm going to show you my quick setup for my May Dory. I, I wasn't really thinking, I guess I'm really tired today, but I, I didn't, I, I used a whole 12 inch page and folded it up to fit the, I think this is a B6, I can't remember. And um, I didn't make enough, I didn't cut this short enough. So these cards are like too deep in. So after I had already stapled it all together, I took my uh, circle punch and like kind of shoved it into the pocket and cut these holes later. So I, I could have done a V like this, but the problem with V's is that they might tear at the bottom with a lot of use and circles are nice. So everybody loves circles. So I did it on both sides. I don't know why, but this one is so much deeper than that one. Um, so this is, um, whose paper is this? So, um, this is an older Dory from Coco Daisy. And it, so it had the wrong calendar, you know, the numbers weren't on the right days. So I have this little pad of paper that my friend Rhonda gave me and, um, it's, it's a notepad and then it has each of the months, it has a couple different ones of it, like three or four. So, um, I used one, the May one and this is a three by four note card from Coco Daisy. It had a word on it, which I covered with a little piece of washi, put this on it. I had to trim it the tiniest bit to fit. The three by four card wouldn't fit because this is four of four cards. So I had to trim it a little bit to fit, but it fit perfectly with the three, the three width. I didn't have to adjust that at all. And then this is just here because I like it, not because it's covering anything. And then 
I, next thing I did, I set this up. You, if you, you know, do your measuring and stuff and you end up with no room at the top, if you do it my way, which you can see in my previous video, um, then you have other room to put your, the name of the month. So I still have room here to put May. And yes, I know I'm missing the zero. So I'll go back, put that in. And then uh, I used a really light colored ink so that I could do the big numbers because sometimes that looks cool. And, um, I like writing in pencil. You might need to use a darker pencil. You know, this T is just not gonna, I might have to, I might have to work on that. But um, see how my numbers all, I mean my, sorry, my words all overlap each other. Uh, the thing is, guess what? You already know what the names of the days are. So you don't, you don't always need to see every word. We all know, like when you're standing in a group photo and grandpa's in back you know what he looks like <laughs> you don't need everybody doesn't need to stand apart like that it's the same with words like I already know what all these words are it's not really that important that I overlap them it still looks okay so that's another thing just be relax don't feel like things have to be a certain way it's okay and if I didn't like this I could take my little tweezers and pull these off and do something else there or if it's really bad I could print something out and actually adhere it along the top. So that's that stamping. And then I thought, oh, I really like the way that looks. So I'm doing the days of the week and the dates similar. So the, I used a slightly darker ink. This is sort of a seafoam green. This is a light green. And uh, all I did, I didn't make it so that every day that I stamped in the same place, every day of the month, except I did make it so that each spread I did the same thing so that when I open to a spread, there's um, the, the sort of the symmetry or the matching look on each page. I did this here and then I was like, oh, so I don't want to cover that up. So I put this here, which I should have put that there, but it doesn't matter. This is for me, so it just doesn't matter. And that's that. Let's see, what else can I tell you? Oh, and then I put the washi on. So. Sometimes it's nice um, to put washi on instead of the, on the other one I have the die cuts all sticking out, which I still could do if I want. But sometimes it nice, it's nice to put washi on the pages. So I, I grabbed about 10 washi that I felt kind of went with the spring, May theme. Plants, green, spring, and uh, I have them all sitting here and I made sure to choose a couple different widths as well. And I love text as art. And um, it, it, so what I did was I went through and did folded it over almost every page. But I want to also say um, sometimes like here, I like the way this looks already and I didn't want to cover it. So instead I just put a piece of washi by itself along the edge without going over. And then there's somewhere else I used just like it. And you don't always need to go all the way down. It's, oh, I think here I didn't go all the way down because I didn't want to cover over the Thursday, which I don't know is funny because on other days I did cover it. I'm just going to show you. Oh, here. Here I used a, one of those little thin, super thin pieces of washi. And here's another washi I have. So it just has little phrases. It's a Coco Daisy one. And um, so I just thought I'd put washi on the page, but not necessarily edge the page. So I like things very whimsical and mismatched. So that's kind of how this is set up. Let's see, and then what else? Oh, and then I a um, little bit of hidden journaling about a um, phone call with my mom that just happened, So because she's just a silly woman. So I wrote about it here, and that's what these are nice for, is hidden journaling. But it, no one's, you know, nobody, even my husband and my son, are never going to look in this thing. So it's really just for me to kind of get things out. Here, I had already written about the first on my in my last story because I didn't have this one with me on my trip. And then I forgot, and so I accidentally wrote this journaling here. And then I covered it with washi and a piece of paper. And then I kind of rewrote just the basics because I already have written about this day in the previous story. And then, and then here is my journaling. So it's okay, you don't need to you just there's no rules it's fine whatever way you do it and if you screw up and you don't like the way it looks you go like that gone never have to think about it again so that's it and thanks for watching and where's my clip
and um, keep an eye out. Maybe I'll have some artwork and stuff to show you in my vision book, or, uh, or, or I will be showing you this all filled up in about a month. Thanks, bye.